welcome once again to our morning devotions, experiencing God through the seasons of life. Our morning devotion is coming from the book of 2 Samuel chapter 4, verse 4, and I will read in your hearing. And Jonathan, Saul's son, had a son that was lame of his feet. He was five years old when the tidings came of Saul and Jonathan out of Jezreel. And his nest took him up and fled, and it came to pass as he made haste to flee, that he fell and became lame. And his name was Mephibosheth. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Um, this series is a special dedication to widows and orphans. And today we want to look at the story of Mephibosheth. Uh, the story of Mephibosheth is a story that is pregnant with so many lessons, life lessons, family life lessons, lessons for raising our children, lessons for relationships, all kinds of lessons are in the story of Mephibosheth. But what we just read is where Mephibosheth is orphaned and overnight he moves from his father's palace uh, to be raised uh, in Lodiba. We are going to continue studying this story maybe for the next two days or so. But uh, the story of Mephibosheth is a story that tells us that life is filled with swift transitions. Overnight, life can turn disastrously. From being uh, in a child who is raised in the palace, Mephibosheth loses not only his home, he loses his parents, he loses his grandparents, he loses uh, the title, the royalty, uh, he was going to be, um, he was a prince, he lost that title. Not only did he lose that, he lost everything, including his health. And um, we can, as we raise our children, we need to let them know that um, life can change any time. Life is not aesthetic. Life is, you know, we are on shifting ground. And anything can happen to us as parents anytime and our children can be left alone. We cannot help, we cannot avoid, uh, we cannot protect our children from experiencing painful things in life. But we can help them to carry a mentality that is not a victim mentality whereby our children will be failures in life. But we can help them to know how to carry on, how to live on after we are gone. Because there are no guarantees that will always be there. Um, you, they will not avoid awkward questions. People will say awkward things to orphans. And there are so many orphans who have failed to make it. Many orphans who view themselves as victims. But we also have orphans who have made it in life, who have done well, who have done even better without their parents. Not that it's, a, it's easy, but if it happens... Because we do not choose what happens to us, but we choose how we respond to what happens to us. And when we choose how we respond, uh, how to respond to what happens to us, we, we live more victoriously because life has all these painful uh, things that happen to us. And for me, Mephibosheth, difficult as his name was, his life also became very, very difficult. He, he, he began to live a life that he was not used to and it can also happen to our children that we have raised them in a certain manner. But when we are gone, they can, you know, all those comforts can be withdrawn from them. And we need to prepare our children to know that life can change. And when life changes, there is a God who is a father to the fatherless, a father who is ever present, a father who is there in all the seasons of life, a father who is there when the parents, the physical parents, our earthly parents are not there. There is a father who does not abandon his children. We need to teach our children to hold on to his unchanging hand, to hold on to the one who has promised, to, to the one whose promises are always true. Because we might not be there when our children grow, but we need to teach them as we live with them every day that even if we, everything changes, but we have a God who does not change. The seasons of life might change, but God's season is always present. He does not change. The same he was yesterday, today, and tomorrow, he will always be there. May the Lord help us as we prepare our children to live without us. And for those who are living without their parents, may you be comforted to know that there is a God who is a parent. He cares. 
He loves you and he is able to carry us through all the seasons of life. May the Lord bless you.